I know what my audience like. I did some independent films with Master P. A lot of movies did really well. Mm -hmm. I'm ambitious. I'm a hustler. I have my own lane. That's the thing about comedy. You wake up every day, you don't know if you're funny that day. You know what? I am so proud of you, man. Not to mention that technology has changed the game for yeah, what yeah. allowing people to do on uh, yeah. on the internet. You know, you just think twenty years ago, in order to have anything, you had to go to a radio station, you had to get clearance, and you know, technology and the internet has changed that, man. That's really cool. If they're gonna go all out for the um, ball players, they're not gonna go all out for the guy who handles the ball. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the equipment manager is vulnerable in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How you doing, Lamar? Like years ago, last time we talked, you were like in the real, the property game, heavy. Yeah, then the crash happened. I lost everything. And I, oh. I, I lost a million dollars in real estate in one month. Oh, no, I missed that one. Almost anything could cause a stroke. Yeah. But, you know, for, for me, it was hypertension. My blood pressure was way too high. And it caused the bleed in my brain. But your, but your hypertension is that what I'm asking? Is that like diet? Is that life? That's diet, exercise, that's, that's everything. Okay. Get a fat sack of shit, all that. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm 50 years old now, so I want to live my my next 30 or 40 years medication free, healthy, in shape. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then you look better if you are in shape, old dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look yeah. great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking my wife's gonna leave me in a couple years. So I got to be ready for these younger. Got to be ready. One of my favorite bits they used to do, used to do where you said, "I can't spring this body on no new bitch." I can't spring <laughs> this body on no new chick. Ah, uh, uh, here, here go the joke. Why right, every day my wife says she leaving. Right now I'm leaving. Right now I'm leaving. I look up every day she's still there. I'm tired of the lie. <laughs> yeah. There are some critics out there of, of women comedians. There's so many men who aren't funny, but yeah. nobody talks about it. Because men just get to be unfunny and still get time. Right. <laughs> a woman, you got to be beautiful. You got to be like, listen, women are actually, to me, I think women are funnier than men, but men don't want to hear the truth. Fuck all that. This night is back, and it's time to handle some unfinished business. Are you here to look for That's a me. Or are you here to tell a joke? No. True story, man. This is my true. This is this is my true Hollywood story right here. The money shot was them coming out wearing kente cloth scarves. In that moment, watching it, I was like, "What the fuck is this? Like, what 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 are y'all doing?" 1994 called, and they want all that shit back. Shout out to Martha Stewart for doing whatever this she's doing right here. Martha the Stallion. I said, I said it. She looks good to be ninety-four. Have you heard the Have you heard the uh, the uh, the Alexa uh, All Lives Matter response thing? No. You never heard this? No. Alexa, All Lives Matter. All lives matter. However, Black lives are disproportionately in danger in the fight against systemic racism and injustice. Wait a minute. Woke Alexa. No. Alexa yeah. woke. <laughs> That's Alexis. <laughs> right. So then the joke was, because on social media, you had to be very careful. I had to turn my scrutiny into uh, observational comedy. RuPaul's a smart individual. He did the commercial as both because he know women get paid less. <laughs> All right, moving on. He asked her when, when police going to stop killing unarmed black people. Let's see what she's talking about. Alexa. When will the police stop killing unarmed black people? Hmm, I don't know that one. What? Not even, not even Alexa knows. Wow. Nice cube, nice cube. Thank you so much for joining us. Listen, I, I've been an independent. This contract with Black America. I said I never had lunch with the president. God damn, I'm glad they set it up. Fuck it. When's the album coming out? Hey, the album's in stores November 4th, homie. You did not there yet for the tagline is. Nigga, we've been here because we black people. We was already here. Is there a story that you can tell that that's just so unbelievable, um, or, you know, to the to the point of what black people are, are dealing with with the criminal justice system? Uh, I represented a kid who was uh, who was blind. He had been shot in the face as a juvenile. Uh, and on one eye was prosthetic. The other still had like shotgun pellets in his eye. And I'm prepping my guy to testify. And he's on the phone. I'm like, hey, man, um, how often do you clean your eye? 
uh, the prosthetic. And he was like, um, you know, it's like, you know, it's not a big deal. I can pop out at any time. I was like, you think you could do it during trial? He was like, yeah, no problem. I said, okay, that's what we're going to do. I was like, let's go with it. <laughs> uh, this, this, is how you, this is how you prepping them. You tell them we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pluck that eye loose. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna have to take the eye. I gotta ask you this: and I ask people this all the time that I run across who really found a way to shift their business. Like, did you did you know the COVID was coming? Did you know the because this is this seems like one of those two perfect situations. Well, you know what? I know the name. Let him order my steps. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So once you let him order your steps, you never know what may happen. Yeah, and you had the you had the vision and the foresight, knew that the shops was going to close down, and and this business was going to take off. Guys, let's talk about it, man. This product is a, a vision of yours um, that you finally decided to launch this year. Even though my dad never liked actually smoking the cigar, he loved the scent, he loved the aroma, so that definitely got me intrigued. So I would say maybe about seven, ten years ago, I had my first cigar, the first time smoking it, and I just fell in love. With it. So, 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 yeah, man, let's let, let's talk about it, Cuban. You you've been you've been a cigar smoker. I mean, it's in your name. You've been for for years, and uh, talk about the culture a little bit. Uh, I got a new TV show coming out, and you guys gonna write this. Wait, 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 we got, uh, so what I do is I go around the world and I highlight the culture and lifestyle of cigars. They're the largest, fastest growing demographics in the United States of America. Get a percentage of 8.5% of smokers, America. especially African-American females with a lot yeah. has to do with the flavor cigars coming out. So what what we do- Hey, is, let, me, let me jump in real quick. Did you just get out the meeting? Cause you you on fire. You got all the yeah. talking points and everything. Was you was you just I just know. All right, so, so listen. So <laughs> your your interview is next week, man. It's my interview. Yeah, man. Right, so what? So <laughs> having having traveled the world, though, all serious though, all mm -hmm. serious. Having traveled the world, what advice would you give him as a as a new business owner with his own brand? What, now, what are you what are we drinking on right now? Uh, right now, I have a daiquiri. Okay. Uh, people think that the daiquiri is like a uh, like that really frozen pink, like really sweet drink that you get like on South Beach. Yes. Um, but the the traditional daiquiri is actually just rum, lime, and sugar. Super simple. No, I did not know that. So After a certain sugar level and a certain proof, I'm I'm out of there. I'm stuck. I I got you. Sure, but he's made it more comfortable. He's made it more comfortable for them and more acceptable for them to be out in the open. But I, but I do think that that this notion that. You know, the retelling of our history is about telling it that America is some terrible, horrible, horrifying place that we, sh we should hate. I, I don't think that's not, not only do I think that's wrong substantively, I, I don't think it's useful for black people. If you still ride for President Trump as a black Republican, if you do, tell me how. I can't see myself voting for Joe Biden. I can't see that. That's that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Oh yeah, you can hear me. Uh, you can see me. I'm all right. Oh yeah, you lie, you lie and quit, and you at work too, which is major. I mean, oh, now I'm home. I'm home. This is the home office. Oh, the home office. Excuse it. It's a little janky, but no, that it, it actually looks official. I see the um the, the caseload on the right. Now I, I figured you was at some type of For sure. institution right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. That's look like when you watch it, you know, uh, cold case. I watched the cold case, and they're like, "We'll bring in the files," and they bring in those joints to settle to the desk. I cool it. <laughs> so I'm a criminal defense attorney here in New York. Um, oh. I'm a former prosecutor too, so you know, there's that part. Oh, right on it. I was yes. Yeah. You know, a lot of slack for that part. Um, I was a Manhattan prosecutor for five years. Um, I grew up in South Jamaica, Queens, so I came out of drugs, and they put me in narcotics when I got to the DA's office. So I did that for about five years, and I've been doing criminal defense work ever since. I'm also an adjunct professor at uh, City Tech. And Gianni said uh, his son doesn't want to learn how to drive out of fear for being pulled over by the police. So you, we're, we're literally, we have individuals who literally put a pause on the natural stages of, of, of young adulthood to avoid these scenarios 
that shouldn't happen anyway. Right. There's another kid somewhere right now at this very moment who will intentionally fail the driving exam ah. to not disappoint his father for trying to get the license, but his fear won't allow him to get the license ah. because ah. he may be pulled over by the police. Right? So, layers. So, so is it That's layers right on. there. It's layers on, because we're talking about a system. Trauma is a system. Let's go back to that one time when I played basketball in Cuba. Mitchell? Junior. Junior. He likes LeBron James. King. He likes King James. I'm going to see what his handle looks like. Let's see. What next? Like, you know what I mean? How do you, how do you break the surface? Can I just be all the way real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of niggas. I want niggas to see me when I say this. Niggas, this is it. How are you feeling, Black Matt? I'm not sure about how I feel about you um, coming on to my show with a better background and better <laughs> lighting, you yeah. know, like you're in some fucking radio station or some shit. So so it's obviously showing that we have to quit. But that's okay. That's okay. Go ahead. Do what you do. I think my arrangement of liquor is pretty dope, though. Oh, right? absolutely. Absolutely. So th what this is, I'm in the closet. I'm in the closet, champ. This are is you? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. See that? You see that? This is my tiny closet studios command center, man. We we broadcasting out of here. Because who knows when we're going back to the comedy clubs and sitting shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, and laughing out loud again. There will be no more laughing out loud. Because all that mouth open stuff in public, <laughs> it's, a wrap. it's a wrap. All right, player, we got to go. Thank you, Lester Holt. I appreciate you, man. Love everything you do. Thanks a lot. I don't care if it is a closet. You still looking mad efficient. Can you get me the fuck off of this? Can you? You wrap this up.